Hey, Katie! What should I buy for Seth's birthday? A watch? Perfume? What do you think about a tie? He's an employee at a world-class company, so... Buy whatever you want. I don't care. Sorry? I thought asking you was best because you're his ex-wife. Can you let me know what makes him happy? Why don't you think about that for yourself? Oh, wait! You couldn't make him happy, so that's why he dumped you! <laughs> Actually, it's the opposite. I dumped him. Don't get that wrong. You don't need to act tough, you know. Maybe this is what he didn't like about you. <sighs> I'm not acting tough, and it's not the reason why he hated me. You should keep your guard up because you don't know what's going to happen. I won't because he loves me now. Do you really need to one-up me every single time? Don't you even feel embarrassed? Aren't you? You got dumped by him. Oh, and you live with your parents now? Is it because you couldn't pay the rent? You were relying on him? Wow. <sighs> I moved into my parents' house because it's in the city, and there's no meaning for me to live by myself. I bet you're crying your eyes out every night because you have nobody. I feel so bad for you. Well... Anyways, sorry that your friend is this happy. What? We've been friends since childhood. We were, but I really can't stand you, so I want to cut ties. Anyways, guess what? We turned in our marriage certificate! <sighs> oh, really? This early? You guys only dated for two months. It doesn't matter. Seth was okay with it. Also, I'm so happy right now. It's so funny to listen to a sore loser be this jealous. <laughs> Since when did you turn into such a bit? I'm not. I'm just being myself. Anyways, you said that he works at a world-class company, right? Sorry, but that makes me laugh. Are you crazy in the head because you're jealous or something? Just calm down and breathe, okay? Wow. You're pissing me off. Is it okay for me to tell everything that you don't want to know? About what? Anyways, I'm going to dinner with him from now, so I don't want to waste my time talking to you. You're the one that sent me a text first. Hey, we're actually going to have a wedding, so why don't you do the wedding speech? Sure. You better come. Oh, Seth told me that he hated your appearance and was so embarrassed to walk next to you. What? Well, I understand him because you wear cheap clothes and don't wear makeup. Seth really said that? Yes. So, for the wedding, wear something nice. And why don't you get your makeup done by a professional? Maybe you'll find someone there. Oh, sorry. Did I piss you off again? Hey, Seth. I heard that you were embarrassed walking next to me. She's just exaggerating. I never said that. Trust me. Are you being serious right now? Should I tell her? The reason why we got divorced is because you embezzled your own company's money and got fired? Please don't. I mean, I was gonna tell her, but I can't. She's gonna find out anyway. I just want to enjoy my life right now because I love her appearance. Aren't you embarrassed about what you're doing? Nope. I mean, life is too short, so let me enjoy my life. I wonder how Holly is gonna act when she finds out. Why didn't you tell her, though? You had a lot of time. Do you still love me or something? No. I'm just waiting for the right time. You're scaring me. So, I might get divorced soon? I need to enjoy my life now. You're the one scaring me, Seth. Can I ask you a question? What is your motivation in life? 
Nothing. I have a debt of $30 million and I have no job. I mean, life is much easier when you just give up. Wow. What happened to you? You were in an elite once. It all happened when I started to gamble. Anyways, why don't we get back together? I need you. Are you being serious? Absolutely not. Anyways, looks like you guys are going to dinner for now. You can pay for it. Uh, yes, I actually won 20 grand last time in gambling. Awesome, right? Then use it to pay off your debt. Oh my god, you know what? I'm turning stupid just talking to you. Well, good luck with everything. Oh, thank you for coming. I thought that you wouldn't show up because of jealousy. No problem. I was excited. The reception is from now on, so good luck with the speech. How's Seth? He's doing okay. And also handsome as always. I'm just wondering why his family didn't show up. He doesn't have a job. That's why. What? So of course no one will show up from the company. Plus his friends cut ties with him since he's been uh, borrowing money from them. I feel so bad for you burying someone like him. What are you talking about? You're joking, right? Nope. Sorry, but everything is true. I'm getting ready to talk about it in the speech if you want. G g go ahead! What the hell was that speech?! You even used a projector?! Yes, because I needed to explain in detail about Seth embezzling his own company's money. I also needed to explain how he was an elite once, but he went broke and got into debt because he's addicted to gambling and couldn't pay with his own money anymore and ended up stealing money from the company. It was easy to understand, right? This is bullshit! How could you know all of this? Because I'm the CEO of the company. What? If you don't believe me, then search my name. You're my friend from childhood, but you didn't know about this? OMG, it's true! Is this a prank or something? I can't believe this. A debt of 30 million dollars? Using the company's money? You probably can't grasp the situation, but this is the reality. Wait! Why was Seth laughing midway through? I think he just gave up on life. I think he had fun because he never experienced this kind of wedding. Fun? What? You're both scaring me. Anyways, why did you act like a drama queen and storm back off at the reception? There's a part two, so can you come back? Part two? What are you going to talk about? You'll see. I feel like it's something bad. Are you serious? Explaining to everyone about me turning into a trashy b who went up someone? Aren't you happy that I did research on you? Of course not! Also, why did you say I was a b all along? <laughs> it's true, that's why. You even showed everyone screenshots of our conversation! That's an invasion of privacy! You even wrote that I'm a loser who got her husband stolen on your blog. How nice. I can't believe you showed that to everyone too! How did you even find my blog? I know everything about you because we're childhood friends, right? OMG! What should I do? I literally want to die! <laughs> My blog is getting a lot of backlash! Why don't you start your life over? You know what? Why don't I tell everything about you that's embarrassing? Sure. Like what? Um... Hold on. Um... I never showed you my true self, so I want to know what you were trying to say. I saw you eating ice cream by yourself last time! 
You can say that if you want. <laughs> it's nothing embarrassing. This isn't fair! My life is over now! Wait! Where's Seth? He's not there? I bet he ran away. Who's gonna pay for the wedding fee? You probably need to pay for it. Good luck with that. Your wedding was pretty big, so I wonder how much it's gonna cost. What the f***? This is all your fault! No, it's not. It's both of yours. This is so wrong! Nothing is wrong. Just calm down and breathe, okay? Shut up! Why didn't you tell me if Seth was like this? I, I thought he put his life together so I didn't say anything. But I did tell you to keep your guard up because you don't know what's going to happen. Holly collapsed on the spot and cried. Her voice echoed nicely throughout the venue. Seth was nowhere to be found, so she had to pay for the whole wedding. Since a lot of people got to know her true colors, she moved to the middle of nowhere. I don't know what they're both doing now, but I heard that Seth got caught by the deck collector and is working his butt off underground somewhere. On the other hand, I'm still the CEO of my company and I'm still succeeding. I am experiencing a little bit of backlash and I regret what I've done, but they should be thankful that they aren't experiencing something worse. Mom, I'm so sorry. I'll try harder on the next test. I promise, so please let me out. What? Why do you have your phone? You said you left it at Grandma's house. Because Mom tried to break my phone. You lied to me. You never get a hundred on your test, and you lie to me. You're such a jerk. I should have never bought you a phone. I'm not buying you anything anymore, even if your friends have them. Did you call Dad? No. And why can't you? Do you remember? Because you say so. Yes. You remember that, but why can't you study? I'm sorry. It's cold here. Please let me out. Please. No, I'm drinking today. I'm not home, so I can't. You'll be out when you're better. Study for the test so you can get a hundred. I'll also stop your phone. You'll stay stupid with your phone. Please, don't do that. Please. You won't be able to use it soon. I just called the cell company. Just wait until I get back, okay? Hello, are you Jesse? Yes, who is this? Hi, I'm Ren. I'm sorry to text you. How do you read that, octopus? It's Ren. Sorry, I don't remember. Are you from the girls' bar? I can't go because I have a girlfriend. Huh? Are you mom's boyfriend? Who are you? I ain't nobody's mama's girlfriend. Is it a prank? Sorry, I'm Regina's daughter. Did mom not tell you about me? What? No way. Regina's daughter? Yes. Please help me. Huh? I'm in the shed. My mom trapped me here. I'm cold. Can you help me? Sorry. What? Are you really Regina's daughter? Are you sure this isn't a prank? No, it's not a prank. I tried calling dad, but the Wi-Fi sucks, so it doesn't work. And he's working the night shift. Mom isn't coming home, too. Are you serious? Are you really in the shed? Yes. In this fucking cold weather? Yes. Okay, I'll be right there. Do you know where you are? Your home address? Yes. Um, please don't tell my mom about this. Please. Hello, is this Joey's number? My name is Jesse. I left you a missed call. Your daughter gave me your contact information. Yes, this is Joey. Who is this? What do you mean by my daughter giving you my number? First, let me apologize. I have been dating your wife for two months. I'm sorry. What? I didn't know she was married and she had a kid. Also, I broke your shed today. I'll pay for it. I'm sorry. What? Wait a minute. 
I don't know what's going on. You were having an affair with my wife? My wife is Regina, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I mean, it wasn't an affair, I thought she was single. But I found out you and your kid today. Today? Did my wife let you meet Ren? No, your daughter texted me for help. Help? Did something happen to Ren? I think Regina let Ren add my number when she was drunk in the past. She asked me for help because she was locked in the shed. Her phone is also stopped, so she used a limited Wi-Fi and texted me. The shed? Our shed is outside. You mean she's trapped there? Yes. So I rescued her and she's safe at my house now. But the shed was sealed pretty tight. There was glue in the keyhole, so I had to force it open. So I broke it. I'm sorry. I have no idea what's going on, but Ren is okay, right? Yes, she's by the heat now. She's also hungry, so I fed her. She seems relieved now. She looks different from when she was in the shed. Please tell me the address. I'll pick her up. Please tell me more about the situation when I get there. Jesse, I'm sorry. I'm running late. Can you pick me up? Hey, pick up. Hey, where are you? I'm at the bar I always go to. I see. The bar is closed and I'm waiting outside, so hurry up. It's super cold. It's freezing. I know it's cold, but I can't go. What? I don't understand. Come on. I'm running an errand. Take a cab and go home. Errand? Is it a girl? No. You said I'm the most important woman. I'm staying at your place today. Hurry up and get me. No, go home with a cab. I'm asking you because there are no cabs. I called them, but they are all busy. There's none passing by. Come on. I'm waiting. It's fucking cold. Please. How long have you been out there? Huh? About 30 minutes. You should be fine. Ren was out for hours, so stop complaining. Huh? Ren? Yeah, Ren. You know? No. Who's that? Oh, you don't know. She said she's your daughter. I don't have a daughter. Who said that? Are you not coming because you think I have a daughter? Terrible. How can you do that without proof? Assumption? Are you saying I'm wrong? Yes. Just come and get me. That's weird. You know what? I'm having dinner with a guy named Joey. He's also saying that Ren is his and Regina's daughter. Ren. Ren is with me now. What? You're with Joey? And Ren? At your house. Come over. Wait a minute. What do you mean? Why are you at my house? Wait. Anything you have to say? I know that you're married and are a mom. You told me you were single when we met. I'm sorry for cheating. Who are you cheating on? On you. Please forgive me. I'm serious about you. I was thinking about getting a divorce. You. How can you abandon your cute child? It's insane locking her in the shed in the cold. It's more than insane. The kid is stupid. She lies to me. My husband isn't helping me at all. It was hard for me that I met you. I thought you were the perfect person for me. I see. Ren says that daddy plays with her more. Well, okay, so can I make one promise? What's that? I swear on everything. Can you love me for the rest of your life? Yes, only you. Of course. Okay. Well, I can't. What? That question was from your husband. Huh? He wants to get things straight. He made his decision now. He's going to get a lawyer for the divorce. He's also going to demand alimony. What? You lied to me? How can I still love you? What do you mean alimony? I won't pay it. You have to pay because you had an affair. Wow, scary. Of course I'll pay. I told him I will pay whatever amount he demands, but I'm not paying for you. You're on your own. Wait! Please! At least come get me! I'm going to freeze to death! What? You said you weren't going home. It's Ren who was going to freeze to death. 
Why do you think you deserve to be saved? Unbelievable. Jesse, you're so kind. Huh? I like you even more. Let's talk again. Maybe we can start over. No. Don't ever contact me again. I told Joey to never contact me again. Huh? Wait a minute. Jesse! Hey, Joey. I want to talk. Can I call you now? No, not ever. Joey filed for divorce the next day, leaving no time for Regina to counter. Regina tried to get Ren on her side, but she was pissed and she said she's going to live with her dad. Regina was furious that Ren betrayed her, but Ren said she never wanted to see her again because she almost died because of her. I had to pay $10,000 as alimony. It's cheaper than the usual alimony, but Joey said it was okay because I saved Ren. He said that he wouldn't accept any more than that, so I did what I could like sending expensive stakes to them. That was the least I could do. Regina's alimony was $30,000. She was complaining, but it's fair. Even years later, Joey and I keep in touch and go to lunch. I thought I should stay away from them, but he insists, so he treats me sometimes. One day, he said to me, Ren favors me. I laughed it off. Time flies, and Ren is almost graduating junior high soon. She's so young. I was in my 20s when I met her, but now I'm in my 30s. Since then, I've been more cautious and currently don't have a girlfriend, but that's okay. I don't want someone like her again.